Hi everyone and welcome back to Sprinkle with Paper. Today I'm going to be sharing how to make a beautiful layered design here in Cricut Design Space using the offset tool. Now to create our project besides Cricut Design Space, we're also going to need cardstock. All of this is just single sheet cardstock that can be found at Michael's. And then we're also going to need some type of glue. I've been really loving this Recollections brand of glue. It has a nice fine tip so it's easy to apply and it dries perfectly clear. And then we're going to need some foam stickers. Again, this is a Recollections brand but I feel like all foam stickers are created equal. But I do always like to pick up a variety pack just so I have different options. Next is masking tape. I just use this to attach my cardstock onto my Cricut mat just to make sure it doesn't shift. And then the last thing we're going to need is some type of shadow box. I found this frame at Ikea and I believe it was under $5. So these are all of our supplies we're going to need today. So now let's just head on over to Cricut Design Space and we'll create our design. Once in Cricut Design Space, we're going to first click on Shapes and we're going to select a heart. This is going to be the center of our design today. So if I were to take this heart and just duplicate it and then try to create my own offset layer or a background layer, if you will, it would be kind of tricky to make sure that for the multiple layers, the distance between each of them would be the same. But the great thing about using the offset tool is that we're ensuring that we're getting an equal margin around each of the hearts for each layer. So as you can see here, when you click on that offset tool, it's going to automatically add the offset. And then you can use this little sliding bar here to either make the offset larger or smaller, or you could even go towards the negative side and you can do an inverse. But today I'm just going to make a small layer because I plan on making seven different hearts. And so if I make this layer too big, the heart's going to be huge. <laughs> and as you can see up here in the right hand corner, I can actually type in the exact size that I like, but I like this one and I'm just gonna make a mental note of it to make sure that it's consistent for each and every layer. Now that I have all of my hearts, I'm just going to change the colors. So my vision was creating a rainbow theme. So that's why we have the seven different layers for the seven different colors of the rainbow. So we're going to have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. From here, I'm just going to resize the heart. And this is going to be different depending on what size frame you have. But for mine, I'm going to change the width to six inches. So now that we have our heart, let's move on to the name. So the name I'm going to be typing out today is Emily. And the font that I'm going to be choosing is BFC Lovers Hearts. And this is a Cricut Design Space font. And the reason I'm using this today is because I love that it kind of has a retro feel, but I also love that it has little heart cutouts. And before I add the offset layer, I'm going to change the color of Emily to the lavender color from our heart. And now I'm just going to go up to offset and I like the way that this looks, but I'm not thrilled that there's the little cutout. So we could make it larger and get rid of that. But I don't really want it to be larger because then it's going to cover up too much of our heart. So I am going to go back and make it just a little bit smaller. And then I'll show you how we can get rid of that little cutout. So to get rid of this little cutout is actually super simple. We're just going to move Emily up click on that offset layer and we'll go over to contour and you can see here that little cutout 
So over here on the right hand side, if we just click on it, it will make it disappear. And then when we go back to our project page, we have just one single piece without any extra little cutouts. And now for this offset layer of the name Emily, I think I'm going to change it to a bright pink just to kind of make it stand out a little bit. You know what, actually, I think I'm going to switch this design up a little bit. I'm not loving the colors here. So I think I'm going to change the middle of the heart to bright pink. And then over here for the name Emily, let's change the background layer to red. And then let's change the letters to a light pink. I think that's going to look great. This is giving me more of that retro look I was going for. It kind of reminds me of the Care Bears or My Little Pony. I'm definitely aging myself, but this was exactly the look that I was going for. Now I'll just highlight the whole design and then I'm going to click Make. Now I'll just cut out all of my pieces and we'll get ready to assemble. Now that we have all of our pieces cut, this is going to be the easy part. So all we're going to do is we're gonna start with the smallest heart and we're gonna add our little foam stickers to the back. I'm going to be placing three foam stickers on the back of each heart, just one in each corner. And then I'm just gonna start layering them on top of each other. Once all my hearts are attached, I'm just going to assemble the name using glue. You can use foam stickers, but I felt like it just would start to stick out a little bit more than I would like. Now just give the name a few minutes to dry and then I'm going to attach the name onto the heart but I'm going to use hot glue for this. So as you can see this is adorable on its own. You could also add a skewer to the back of this and make it into some type of centerpiece or a cake topper, but for today we're going to be adding this to our shadow box. So before I add this onto the shadow box, I'm first going to add a little piece of cardstock into the frame. So I have two different options. I have this heart paper, and then I also have this light blue paper. Either one would be super cute, but I think I'm gonna go with the heart paper today. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and cut out a square. And then I'm just going to use my masking tape to attach it. And then I'm going to stick the heart onto the front of the frame using those foam stickers. This was such an easy project using the offset tool and it would be adorable as any type of room decor in any little girl's room. So if you have any questions about the offset tool or anything that we talked about in today's video, please leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and until next time, happy crafting.